Okay, so in order to demonstrate how to place stickers on any of your 3D models, I'm gonna use this utility box that I scanned a few weeks back in Berlin. If you want to follow along, you can download this model completely for free from my Blender Kit profile. And actually, if you go to my Blender Kit profile, you can download all of the 3D assets I ever created. They are all completely free and CC0 licensed, which means that you can use them for whatever you want and you don't even need to give credit. And in addition to that, if you use the link in the video description, you get a 10% discount for the premium subscription of Blender Kit, which gives you access to even more 3D models, materials, and any other 3D assets that you might need. Okay, so in addition to the 3D model, you also need the sticker that you want to add to it. In order to demonstrate this, I'm just gonna use this PNG of the Blender logo. With this ready, let's jump into Blender. And in this video, I'm gonna share two different methods to do basically the same thing. For the first one, we want to keep just one object and one material. So in order to do this, let's open up a new window and switch this to the shader editor. Here you can see the current material, which is really simple. We have just one base color image texture and a normal map texture. So let's add in one more image texture node with shift A and then just search for image texture, bring it in here, click on open, search for the image of the sticker that you want to use and open it up. If we now just plug this sticker into the principal PSDF node, you can see that this is completely torn up and doesn't work. This is because we don't have a proper UV map yet. So let's fix this and open up a new window, switch this to the UV editor, then tab into edit mode, select everything, and you can see that our UV map is completely torn apart. So in order to fix this, let's create a new UV map. With everything selected in edit mode, you can press U, and we're just gonna use smart UV project. Click on unwrap, and now we have a cleaner UV map. So let's select everything and scale it a bit in order to adjust the placement of this sticker. Then I also want to rotate it 180 degrees. And I don't want the repetition of this logo, so I'm simply going to switch from repeat to clip. So we get it just once. And I can place this on front of this utility box. Maybe adjust the scale and just place it wherever you want it to be. And now this seems to work, however, there is one issue. Once we switch back to the base color, you can see that we completely fucked up our material. This is because both the sticker and the base color use the same UV map. So I actually just showed you how not to do it. So let's press Ctrl Z in order to go back until the material is working again, which is right here. And in order to do it correctly, we want to generate a second UV map for the sticker and still use the same UV map we have currently for the base color and the normal map. So let's go to the data properties and under UV map, add in a second UV map. I'm just gonna call this sticker. Now we need to make sure that each image texture uses the correct UV map. So let's bring in a UV map node. First, I want to select the original UV map and connect this up to the base color and the normal map. Then duplicate this node with Shift D, switch it to the sticker UV map and connect it to our logo. So now again, let's take a look at the logo by connecting it to the base color. It is torn up again, but this time we can fix it correctly. So make sure that you have the sticker UV map selected, tab into edit mode, select everything, and we can create a new unwrap. So again, U, smart UV project, unwrap. And now we have this clean UV map, scale it up. Let's again rotate it 180 degrees. I don't want it to repeat, so I'm going to switch to clip. Maybe adjust the scale even more. And now you can place it on this box wherever you want. So maybe I'm also going to turn off the overlay so we can see it a bit better. Then let's move it around. And I think I'm going to place this logo on the side of this box. So let's again adjust the scale and place it right here. So let's turn on the overlays again, tap out of edit mode. And now this works perfectly. So now if we check the base color, you can see that this texture still works and both of them have an independent UV map. So now we just need to combine those two textures. And for this, we wanna add in another node, which is a mixed color node. Place it right here, 
bring in both the image textures and currently they are mixed together 50-50 but we can just use this alpha output which is currently the wrong way around so let's uh, bring the base color into the A input and the logo into the B input and now this sticker is perfectly on top of the other image texture. The cool thing is that we can still edit this so let's tap back into edit mode turn off the overlays and move it around and you can see that we can place this logo wherever we want to. Alright, so this is already the first method that I wanted to show you. So let's close those two windows, we don't need them anymore. Because for the second method we want to use a separate object and a separate material for the sticker. So let's press Shift A and under image bring in the image as a mesh plane. Again search for the sticker that you want to use and import it as a plane. So now we can just bring this in front of our object, rotate it so that it is placed right in front, maybe scale it down a bit wherever you want to place it and bring it a bit closer. Now in order to project this onto the surface of our object we're going to use a shrink wrap modifier. So go to the modifiers tab and under deform bring in a shrink wrap modifier. Instead of nearest surface point we want to choose project and choose our object as the target. Now currently the projection still doesn't work which is simply because we want to switch from positive to negative. And now you can see that this sticks on to the surface and we can move it around. However we want to make it a bit more precise. For this let's tap into edit mode and you can see that currently we have just 4 vertices. If we right click and subdivide it we get more resolution which will give us a better projection. You can see that this looks really bad because we don't want to project it precisely onto the surface. Instead we want it to be just slightly in front of it. For this play around with this offset value and I'm just going to set this to 0.003. Which is going to place it just 3 millimeters in front of this surface. Which is going to make it a lot easier to see. Then let's also right click and enable shade smooth. So now we have this sticker that we can just move around scale and rotate until we like the placement of it. And it just perfectly sticks to the surface. So we can place it wherever we want, we could also bring it on top. So let's try this, rotate it 90 degrees, place it on top, maybe scale it up. And you can see this is really simple. However, we have one more issue. Once I select this object and move it around or rotate it, you can see that the sticker doesn't follow along. Select the sticker, shift select the utility box, press ctrl P and parent it to the object. So now when I scale it, rotate it or move it around, the sticker always follows. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was useful to you. And if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And once more, if you want to download any of my 3D assets, Simply follow the link in the description and you can download all of them completely for free.